So what's up guys? I thought I'd give you guys a little character prediction on what could possibly come to Power Rangers Legacy Wars. And now that we're seeing, you know, Black Dino Thunder Ranger, it kind of gave me an eye out opener to what possible characters we could see come to Legacy Wars in the future. So we're going to start off with Jungle Fury Rangers. Now we have Daishi, and believe it or not, why we're going to see some of these rangers come forth is beyond me. When you see Casey and RJ, I feel like they'll put those two in the game to rival Daishi. Because this game follows a three pattern. Villain and at least two rangers. Besides Dino Charge, which has two villains and two rangers. But they always go by two rangers and a villain for some of these series. So right now our prediction here is we're going to get Casey and RJ. RJ because he was the mentor and Casey because he was the Red Ranger and he did fight Daishi in the final battle. So there is a rivalry point in this game, I guess, because if we're going to put Black Dino Thunder Ranger out of Triassic Ranger, you know, the power to form of Connor, and we're getting, I mean, I'm guessing we're going to start doing teams that actually rival the character in this show. And obviously Mazagog hated Tommy more than anything, so you can guess give Tommy a buy for that. So what I'm saying for this one is for Power Rangers Jungle Fury, we are possibly going to see Casey and RJ. It's very highly likely. These two rangers will possibly show up as Daishi's thing, and Camille might come in as the fourth villain. And you'll have two, pretty much four rangers, two evil rangers and two actual rangers. So that's going to be the Jungle Fury section. We might see Casey and RJ in the future. Pretty sure we will, just to match uh, the format Enway is following, and so on and so forth. Daggeron is a highly possible character because that was Korag's old buddy, rival. So Daggeron and Korag were kind of like rivals back in the day. Well, not rivals, they were best friends, and then they became rivals in the show until Korag had to find himself, yada, 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 yada. So between Daggeron and Mystic Force Red Ranger, those are our two possible Mystic Force Rangers that could possibly come to the game. So Daggeron and Red Mystic Force could come, but Daggeron would be more likely with the, the Lamp Attack. So that would finish off the Mystic Force section, and then anyway, we'll focus on another team. Next is our SVD section. Yes, we got Cat Ranger, so we gotta find some things that are gonna relate to Cat Ranger along with giving it a villain. So Shadow Ranger was already, already confirmed for this game. He's coming soon. He's on the list. He's coming now. Now he's coming. Lunar Wolf, Divatox, Scorpina, and now Shadow Ranger. They're both on the list. But the fact of the matter is Shadow Ranger was confirmed by Anaway. So Anaway already confirmed Shadow Ranger coming. They just don't know when they're going to make his model. Now, with Shadow Ranger coming, that gives us our other character, Emperor Grum. Pretty much a big villain in that show and Doggy Kruger's big arch nemesis. So once we put Shadow Ranger in, I guess Grum would be next because you got to put a villain in. And this is pretty much the best villain you can put in the game to fight Doggy Kruger. It's what makes sense. So seeing this facts like come to come to light, actually seeing that um, once we put Shadow Ranger in, that means we probably might get Emperor Grum because that's Shadow Ranger's nemesis. That's his arch rival ever since he destroyed his planet. Spoilers. I could see it. I could see them following this type of formula, like rivals and villains, six ranger rivals and villains, stuff like that. And seeing Emperor Grum or even Morgana, as you can see, she's like an evil type of cat ranger body. So we can possibly see Morgana come as like a villain, just to rival cat ranger and Grum rivaling Decca Master. So we have like two possible SPD characters that can be coming to this game. I wouldn't mind seeing Morgana because she does have a ranger suit and it would be cool having like another evil ranger in with those claws and stuff. And seeing Emperor Grum would also be cool because we got another big boss vi villain in the game. So that just builds up what we have with Lord Zed, Sledge, and Emperor Grum. So what does all this mean? I mean, this is just my prediction. I mean, I'm just using facts and logic here on how Henway had their system set up. Because if you if you think about it, we have we have freaking... Trakina, right? Magna Defender and Kendricks. Obviously, Trakina never really had a rival, but you could just think of Magna Defender as her rival for, um, you know, they killed Zika. Okay, 
okay, I'll consider that Magna Defender rivalry. Um, another thing we can point out is um, what's another one? Obviously, the Mezgai situation where we have Trent and Black Dino Thunder Ranger. And how that works is um, Mezagog obviously hates Tommy, so give that rivalry and has a son, Trent. So they kind of both went hand in hand, so they both made the list. And, you know, Tommy gets to fight them both, evil or not, good or evil, yada yada. So there's your two positive, range. and they turn Trent good, by the way. So that's another two. Hmm, what else we got? What other, what other, what other teams do we got? Oh, in space, we have Andros and Zane in Psycho Red. Two Rangers and a villain. So there's a reason why I'm going by this pattern, because now we know in the SPD section we're automatically getting Deck of Master, and we're going to get either Emperor Grum or Morgana. Those are facts. In the Mystic Four section, we're down one Ranger, so we might get Nick, or we might get Daggeron, so like that old history type of deal happens. Jungle Fury with Dai Shi, the only possible outcomes you can have is RJ and Casey, which is what you're seeing in this picture. It's one of these two, or both of them actually might show up as characters in the near future, because that's Dai Shi's rivals. I do see the pattern they are trying to do. I really do see it. I, it, I mean, it's coming to me because I'm seeing it. I understand how they're doing it. And if that's how they're going to go about it, well, why why did I make this prediction? Because these predictions might as well just be correct. Scorpina's just going to be in the game because she's Mighty Morphin. Diva Tox is a rival. Well, not even a rival. She's just the main villain, I guess. And Phantom Rangers is like, oh, I hate that hoe. I don't know. Uh, and that's like pretty much it. Yeah, they've been doing like a three-man series. Every time with... New, every new series they had, they always did three men, three, two rangers and a villain, two rangers and a villain, two rangers and a villain. Daishi still counts as a ranger, but he's evil. So what we're going to see in the near future is probably a couple of these guys showing up as characters, and we'll be able to play as them, because that's pretty much what I see as prediction. As much as the characters I want, but this is just my prediction of what we're going to expect this year. I just thought I'd point that out. And once we get Time Force, we can make predictions from there. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching my prediction video. I just thought I'd shed my light on this because it does make sense in ways when I use my logic and putting all this together on how they had the setup for all their Rangers and villains and how they did that, that two-man system. So without further ado, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. And thank you for always being the best.